Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today you're getting a combo video. You're going to get our um, mid-month grocery haul. You're going to get some three to six months stock up preps. And you're also probably going to get some walk through the store uh, shop with me. Now I'm not going to talk through that. Um, I may have to do a voiceover just because when I have my mask on, because we're mandatory mask in North Carolina now. When I have my mask on, it's very difficult to hear. So I'm not even going to try that. And I have a video coming out. You probably should have seen that one before this one. Um, and it's challenging to hear. So I may do a voiceover and I may just show you me going through the store. The main reason that I'm heading to the store today is to finish working on my, or continue to work on my three to six month food storage. Um, the cases in the country just continue to rise. And I want to make sure that the kids and I have exactly what we need um, if we ever have to go back to phase one, because we're still in phase two here in North Carolina. Phase two is supposed to end um, this Friday, July 17th, but I don't know that that's going to be the case. So with that being said, and California just closed again. So I want to kind of move along in this process. So I shared with you guys, I know that I've done this. The list that I'm using is from organizedmom.net, not .com. It's organizedmom.net. And this is her three to six month. Uh, no, this is her um, food storage checklist that gets you total food storage over 52 weeks. I'm doing it in accelerated pace because I missed the first 27 weeks because I just found the sheet. So I'm going to be working today on week 29, which is five 15 ounce or more cans of chili or soup. I'm going to look for chili. Um, I may look for soup, but we're kind of, Jackson doesn't eat certain things and then we don't eat certain things. So I'm going to, I may opt to get chili beans. I don't know. I'm going to just see what I can find that might fit in that uh, slot. But then I'm also going back to the other weeks that I didn't get and I'm trying to pull so I know I'm going to do week 12. Week 11 is five pound, uh, two five-pound bags of sugar and two one-pound bags of brown sugar. We don't use regular sugar. So I'm scratching that off my list for right now. Um, I will at some point come back and do uh, the sugar substitute, the monk fruit, if my Costco has it in. Because for the longest time, they have not had the classic. They've had the golden. They have not had the classic in. So I'm going to skip over that week. But I am going to go to week 12 which is five cans of tuna or other meat. Uh, week 13 is 132 ounce of bottled honey. We don't eat honey. So I'm going to replace that with sugar-free syrup and one can of cocoa powder. Um, week 15, uh, 14 is five 15 ounce cans of beans. So I'm going to get that. Week 15 is um, five one pound bags of pasta or box macaroni. Now we didn't get box macaroni last time. I may get box macaroni this next time. But we do okay with the pastas. Last time I got um, farfalle, bow ties, and rotini. This time, and penne. This time I might get egg noodles or something else. We'll see. It's just depending on the budget. Um, week 16 is two 48-ounce bottles of vegetable oil. So I'm going to get some oils. I'm going to get avocado oil and olive oil. I don't. We don't do vegetable oil. So we are going to get some oils. Week 17 is bacon powder and peanut butter. Um, I'll get Jackson some peanut butter there, but I won't get the kind that me and Alana eat. Week 18 is one jar of yeast, two bags of chocolate chips. Um, we're not doing chocolate chips from there because we do the lilies. So all the things that I'm subbing out. I wanted to say that about this list too, because some people would say, well, that's not enough food for my family, or those aren't things that I eat, or some of the stuff that I want on my list, on my list, they don't have on this list. So let me qualify this list. This is just a, for me, it's a template of a list. I just don't think in weeks, like every week, what should I buy, you know? So for me, when I found this, it's like, oh, that's a great plan. And if I kind of plan this way, at least um, I'll be able to get some of the things you know, that I wouldn't necessarily think about. 
What I have found is because we're a keto family, there are a lot of things on here that we don't eat. But Jackson does eat vegetarian, so he can eat the beans. We can eat the canned meats. Um, but if we got to a, a point in our journey where we were out of keto stuffs and we couldn't go out to eat, we would eat everything on this list, period. And we'll come back to keto after. So I'm trying to get the most keto friendly items that I can for my family. Um, even when I got soup last week, I got tomato soup because that made sense. Um, even if there's a lot more sugars in it, we can. I'd still feel better eating that than I would like getting chicken noodle because Jackson won't eat the chicken and I won't eat the noodles. So tomato soup, we all would eat that. So you make those adjustments as you need to uh, for your family. The one thing they didn't have on here was condiments. You know, um, condiments, we like those, but I guess they were thinking you probably buy that more in your regular grocery budget or list weekly, whatever you shop. But maybe um, I was just throwing in, like I picked up mustard and I picked up some extra ketchup. You know, just a few things that I'm going to try to throw in here that work for my family. Her list also, she says this is for two grown adults. This list is for two adults. For my family of three, me and Alana would consist as an adult. Jackson even eats as an adult, but we could scale back portion sizes if we if this was all we had my kids and I would still be perfectly fine to eat. We would all still be perfectly healthy. We would stretch it out. We would throw in some something here and throw in something there just to kind of fill it out a little bit. So this is not the end all be all of lists. This is just the one I found and the one I'm following and I'm tweaking it to work for me. But I'm also working one side and another side at the same time trying to catch up on the weeks that I missed because I didn't find it till right now. Also, how are you paying for this, Shakima? You don't have grocery budget money. Very true. So here's how I'm doing it. I have grocery sum, summer grocery cards. And at this point, it is the 14th of J July. And we're getting ready for our next two weeks of groceries. I have my grocery list. The kids and I went through everything we have. And we don't need a lot. So we need eggs, heavy cream, relish, green beans, carrots, oranges, all of the fresh stuff, we run out of that because Jackson, he if it's fruit, he eats it. If it's fresh veg, we eat that. Um, pepperoni, cheese sticks, shrimp, fish, butter, spaghetti squash, meatless sausage for Jackson, yogurt wraps, hamburger meat if we can find it, bologna, pretzels, paper plates, storage bags, broccoli, cauliflower, veggie broth, Parmesan cheese, shampoo and conditioner. So that's our list. I have $100 to fill this list. I also have, um, I have $150 for my Aldi cards. So I'm going to take 50 of the gift card dollars and use that towards this list. Because even as we put this list together, we're still rotating these foods out. We're just not buying stuff to stock it in there. If we eat a can of green beans, we're going to rotate the green beans. So I'm going to justify my stock ups by using that one gift card. That'll leave me $200 for August, which is um, perfectly fine um, to do for to do for August because we still have a lot of food in our freezer. We still have a lot of food in the fridge and we're trying to rotate things out. So my grocery budget for July, I meant for August, is gonna be 200 for each for the two weeks. So 200 here, 200 here, because I'm concerned and want to go ahead and get the stocking up done as much of it as I can. And last week I did the first 10 weeks minus the sugar and flour for $22. So I'm going to try to shop Aldi because I know I can get a lot more things cheaply. So that's why I'm doing that. And this list seems to kind of um, continually roll on itself. And that's going to be perfectly fine. So uh, we're heading out. Me, the kids are not going out. We have restricted their going out again. Mom's going out to the grocery store. I'm heading to Aldi to work on this list. All right, you guys. So I am back from Aldi. It was just too much to try to navigate to take you through the store with me. Um, I got there right at nine as people were trying to come in and do their shopping. Plus having the mask on and I just needed to get in and get out. So I have clearly two separate hauls here. I have our uh, the second two and a half week haul of groceries. That's this, what you see here. 
And then I have our stock ups for our three to six month pantry here. So I had a total of $150 to spend. I had three Aldi gift cards because 50 of that was going to be for the stocking up and then 100 for our regular groceries. It ended up being 126 for regular groceries and then about $30 for, no, uh, yeah, 30, $30 for the stock ups. And I had to put two items back. So um, I'm going to share with you what I got. And then I'm going to take you down to my list so that you can see uh, how that broke down on the list. So for the stock ups, let me start there. So again, I'm using this um, weekly food storage checklist. This came from the organizedmom.net. And what I'm doing is I'm on week 29, which is uh, 5 15 ounce or more cans of chili or soup. And then I'm going in and filling in some of the weeks before week 29 that I did not hit. So I got um, two things of grits, quick cook grits. I got one, they were $1.29, I think. I got one thing of, of baking cocoa. I got five things of mashed potatoes. Now the list called for pasta, but since we have pasta and potatoes is nowhere on the list, I ended up getting potatoes. Uh, this is just one of those options where you can substitute and customize the list to fit what works for your family. Because even if we don't go into the point where we can't go back out and grocery shop, Jackson eats mashed potatoes. So a box of mashed potatoes would be several meals for him if he's the only person eating the mashed potatoes. These are good until October the 6th, 2021. So as long as we keep them in a cool, dry place, which we'll keep them inside in the house pantry uh, where we've made a space, they will be perfectly fine. At least for a year and for the next 15 months. So all good there. They also on the list had oatmeal was the thing. I got oatmeal the last time I went. So this time I got quick cook grits. A quarter cup of this can make a lot. So this could be a lot of servings of, you know, something. So there it is. I swapped out for oatmeal and got grits. Again, make it work for you. I did get one thing of baking powder and one thing of baking soda. I got uh, five cans of uh, chunk light tuna and water. I got one can of great northern beans because the last time I did a stock up, I got four cans of northern beans. This is the fifth can. At our Aldi, they still have the um, restrictions on some things. Beans is one. You can only get four of the like item. I got four things of tomato sauce. I was thinking, hey, the kids could make pizza. Just open a can of sauce. Instead of opening a big jar of sauce, you open one can, add in whatever you want. That's your pizza sauce. I got four mushrooms. I got four last time. And then I was able to get four garbanzo beans because last time I got one garbanzo bean and four great northerns. So now I have four great northerns and four garbanzo beans together. The next thing I got were my cans of uh, my week 29, which was the 15 ounces of soup. So again, I looked at the cream of mushroom soup that had a lot of carbs. Jackson won't eat chicken noodle. So I just opted for tomato soup and we got 10 cans of tomato soup because they are only 10.5 ounces. So a can and a half is 15 ounces. So I got 10 cans. I just doubled that. And then I got tomato paste because we use tomato paste. If we're trying to make um, a big thing of, you know, marinara sauce or whatever, we can combine a couple things, add some tomato paste to give it some flavor. A, a more bold, bright flavor, and then we're good. So those are the items that I was able to get on my stock up. So for those items, I ended up putting back the toilet paper and the paper towels that I had on my list because I was out of money and I didn't want to go into my debit card. I just had, I had $5 in ones in my purse and I used my grocery card. So I didn't want to go into more than that. So I ended up spending on this right here for stocking up $27.77. And I'll show you how many weeks that was when I get to my desk. Now, for our regular groceries uh, for the next two weeks, I got a couple things. Some things on my list, some things not on my list, and that's okay. Here's the list that I had that me and the kids came up with this morning. And um, we worked it out. So Jackson needed pretzels. 
And so I got him the peanut butter filled ones. These are like $4. And then I got him just the pretzel sticks. Those are 82 cents. So they're the same price as Walmart. Uh, but he likes these. And he very rarely gets a lot of treats. So I try to at least get him something he likes. Which are those. So I got those for Jackson. I got bananas for Jackson. We got carrots. We tried a ginger, like a sticky ginger carrot glazed carrot this past week. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I'll film it for you guys. It's a really good recipe. We've already cooked it twice. We had some friends come over and eat dinner with us, and they loved it. And then another friend came over, and she loved it. Jackson asked for navel oranges, so I've got those. Uh, these were $1.39 for two pounds. The oranges, I can't remember, y'all. I do so much better at Walmart or at Harris Teeter. Anyway, oranges, navel oranges. Then we got storage bags in the quart size and the freezer gallon bags. We got two things of paper plates, one for this week, one for next. We got two things of Parmesan cheese because we run out of this. We use that quite a lot. And I'm doing a keto carnivore this week, heavier on the carnivore, but still keto carnivore this week. So I use cheese. Picked up two things of low carb tortillas. They were $1.99. I was glad to see them. My kids do like these. And they're the same amount of carbs for almost a dollar cheaper than I can find them at any other store. So one for this week, one for next week. We picked up some sliced cheese. We had the sharp cheddar white. Alana doesn't like it white, but they did not have the sharp and yellow. And then I got Colby Jack because I knew she might would try that. Um, this was a specialty dip that I picked up, bacon cheddar. I did look for the macros. It's only one gram of carb for two tablespoons. I'm doing carnivore, so I'm going to try to have that maybe with some salami and roll it up together. Or if I'm wanting to do keto carnivore, I can have a uh, sliced cucumber with some of this on a pepperoni or salami, rolled it up, and then I can eat it that way. So that was a new find. Or Jackson can, or he won't eat that because it has bacon. Um, we can do some zucchini and then toss it in some oil with some bacon cheddar dip and that'll be just like a little side item for me and sister if we choose picked up some cheese sticks picked up some cheese curds these are cajun cheese curds thought jackson might like to try that we're not doing a lot of dairy with him but um every now and again he might try something because it just doesn't do well for his stomach um hard salami we i like this sister likes that too but she asked for bologna so i picked that up for her Baby Bella mushrooms, I picked those up for Jackson. He can actually just saute those up in some oil and some garlic and just have a little side meal. Picked up two things of butter plus a spreadable butter. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to just use this um, random and then we can use this for exact measurements. Uh, Jackson asked for vegetable stocks, picked up two of those. We got some of the sparkling waters. I picked up uh, two of these spray oils, one for the pantry one to use now, unsweetened almond milk for the kids. I picked up some of this coconut almond milk blend for um, coffee because I've been using heavy cream in my coffee, but I use a lot of heavy cream. So I wanted to make sure I have that for cooking purposes. Um, picked up avocado oil, three things of eggs. Jackson likes this movie theater popcorn. I'm not sure if he's out of it, but I thought I'd pick it up for him anyway. Then again, with our carnivore and for Jackson, if he so chooses, he likes salmon a lot. So I picked up two things of pink salmon at Aldi. They're $3.99. And these are boneless, skinless, and they're individually wrapped. One of these bags will make, make a meal for us. So I picked up two salmon. We got two medium shrimp and then one of the flounder. Jackson likes the flounder. So I picked up that as well. Um, I also found these vegan Italian, zesty Italian meatless meatballs. Somebody mentioned it. So I picked that up for Jack. Um, I picked up a small thing of jalapenos. I picked up two things of zucchini. Uh, just these uh, two of those. Picked up a small thing of cucumbers because we do like cucumbers. And then five broccolis is what uh, I found. They did not have any cauliflower, which I would have liked cauliflower because we like that quite a lot. They did not have any. So for my uh, Aldi trip, my total Aldi was $126.87. So two gift cards at $50 each and then $26.87 
there that left me with 2313 and then again i had to put about four dollars and some change to the stock ups so let me take you down to a view of my desk and share with you uh what i was able to get using my list so before i tell uh, go over that sheet you guys we got mail today this came from australia from our friend andrea she was thinking about jackson and had some recipes and different things from a magazine that she has. And so she sent, she took some of the pages out and sent us some recipes for um, different vegetarian type meals that Jackson can try. So we're gonna give this a try. Um, this right here, I gotta figure out how to make him a dough that doesn't um, interact with his stomach. So um, we'll figure out, but it has the, um, this is called gluten-free spinach and mushroom tart. So we'll go through and look at the ingredients and figure out what we can and can't use. But I thought that was a really neat idea instead of sending the whole magazine or maybe they want to keep some parts of it themselves. But there's a zucchini rotolo with herb crumbs. And we eat zucchini all the time. So that's a good one. Um, and we, even sister and I could eat that. Oh, there's another one. That's some um, broccoli and bacon frittata. Of course, we can leave the bacon out because Jackson won't eat bacon. But that's one me and sister could have. There's another one. This is spiced carrot fritters, which look very lovely. Four peel carrot, springed onions, chickpea flour. We might could use almond. Oh, yeah, man. These would be lovely. We might could use almond flour to sub that in. This, this is a satay photo po poke bowl. So all kinds of neat uh, mushroom and ginger, mushroom, ginger, and pea spaghetti which I was trying to find that edamame spaghetti at Aldi, but I didn't see it. Or some, something I've seen that's supposed to be a little bit lighter in carbs. So all kinds of little recipes there that Jackson's going to go through. And we're going to try to um, make some of these if we can. And yes, I know my nails are bad and I'll get them done today. I just didn't have time. So back to my list of things from the uh, sheet. So this week, I was focusing on week 29, which was to make sure that I had the five 15-ounce cans of chili or soup. We ended up getting the tomato soup, so I'm just going to make myself a note. I got tomato soup, and I ended up getting 10 cans to make up for the size, so I got 10 cans of that. Then I wanted to go back on the other side and see what I could pick up because I was looking at spending about $50 on the stock up. Didn't work out that way for me this time because my regular groceries cost a little bit more. Perfectly fine because I got my this week's items, so I was okay. But, um, again, I did not get week 11 because we're not doing the regular flour or sugar. They did have um, sugar and flour at Aldi's when I was in there. I did see that. But I did get the tuna, so I got the tuna. Um, the next one, I did not get honey, but I did get the bacon powder. I meant the cocoa powder. I got five cans of beans. Instead of the pasta or macaroni and cheese, I ended up getting uh, mashed potatoes. So again, you have to make this work for you. All right, I did not get the olive oil or the vegetable oil because we're not getting vegetable at all. Um, but I did get one thing, avocado oil. We're probably going to end up cooking with that. The peanut butter was not the kind that me and sister could eat, so I didn't get that, but I did get the bacon powder. Um, I didn't get the yeast or the chocolate chips because I don't eat the kind they have at Aldi. And here, instead of getting oatmeal, I got grits because we got oatmeal last time and we got the quick cook. Um, I didn't get vegetable shortening because we don't use that, but I did get baking soda. And then we're right back to the bags of flour and toilet paper, which I didn't get. 
and I did get the vegetables. So I did get that. And now I'm back to week 24 and I'm catching up rapidly. So I'm extremely, I'm moving along even though I'm only getting a few things every time. But if I were to start this in January, then I would have a well-stocked pantry by the end of the 52 weeks. But because I'm working backwards, I am, um, I'm making progress. I feel like I am making some progress. So I'm going to fix my new sheet. I printed out several copies of this. I'm going to highlight my new sheet and then show you what I do have already and what I still need to pick up. All right, you guys, so here's what I've done. I've highlighted in two different colors. Purple is what I did not get. Green is what I already got. Um, again, this is the list I got from organizedmom.net, and it's just her sample template list. I'm making adjustments and uh, things as I need to to fit my family. So we are technically on week 29 which is five 15 ounces or more ounces cans of chili or soup. We chose tomato soup because everybody in our house can eat tomato soup. So we chose that as a personal choice. Now, what I was trying to do, and I didn't find this sheet until I was on week 28, which was the two 48 ounce bottles. We got olive oil and our bottles are actually 34 ounces because that's what they had at Big Lots. Now, with that being said, um, I wanted to be able to go back and recoup some of the things from the first half of the year that I didn't realize because I didn't have this sheet. So, I started over. I did week one and week 29 at the same time. I mean, week one and week 28 at the same time, but I went as far as I could get with what my money would allow me to get. So, I got um, the five cans of tuna and two boxes of salt. We got five one pound bags or boxes of pasta. I got um, the five 15 ounce cans of vegetables. We got two 16 ounces of rice. We got the five 15 ounce cans of beans. We got two jars of peanut butter and we got two 42 ounce cartons of oatmeal. We got the quick cooking oatmeal for Jackson. I got uh, five cans of fruit. What I didn't get was week nine because I've got to find a way to make this keto. And right now, sometimes the keto um, ingredients are a little bit more expensive, so I didn't get this. Uh, I did get week 10, which is the five 15 ounces or more cans of soup. We got tomato soup again. I did not get week 11 because we don't do sugar, regular brown sugar, so I'm gonna have to substitute that out when I go to Costco. I got tuna again. I did not get honey, but I did get cocoa powder, which is on week 13. Then moving me to week 14, we got the beans. For week 15, you're back to pasta again, but we did not get pasta, we got mashed potatoes. We got boxes of mashed potatoes because that just worked out better because we had already got pasta last time. We did not get the vegetable oil again, so I didn't get 16. I didn't get the peanut butter for 17 again, but I did get baking powder. Now I eat a lot of peanut butter, especially if I have yogurt. I like a little dollop of peanut butter in my yogurt. It's perfectly fine for me. Um, I did not get week 18 for yeast or the chocolate chips because what they have at Aldi is not what I use here. Um, week 19, instead of getting oatmeal again, we just got grits to quick cook grits. And then for week 20, I did not get vegetable shortening, but I did get a box of baking soda. So I got way more things that I didn't get, but the things I didn't get is because I want to find a keto substitute for it. Um, so there that is. All right, you guys. So there it is. That was a together haul. I'm trying to make sure that we have everything we need to have in case we're not able to go back out to shops plus getting enough food for the next four i mean for the next two weeks i'm sorry to finish out my july shopping so honestly we've done very well with our grocery cards so thankful that we had the grocery cards to use and to be able to have a little bit extra in there 
in the grocery cart so that we could do a little bit of stocking up. Everything we, we're we doing on the stocking up is not just, and I thought about this, I was like, let me explain this better. It's not just to stock up food so we have stuff. We're rotating things in and out. Like um, I wanted to get a thing of fresh green beans. I didn't see fresh green beans, but I have green beans in my pantry. So the kids and I will go and grab a couple cans of green beans. We, we grabbed a couple cans on Sunday. So as I grab stuff, I want to make sure that I'm putting them back. So next time when I'm on the list and I'm looking at canned veggies, I'm going to pick up green beans because I would have already used a couple of cans out of my pantry storage. So I don't want to use everything down because I'm going to be here in my place where I am. I'm not going anywhere. We're not traveling. Um, we're not eating out. We're, we're here. This is where we are. And so I want to make sure that we have everything we need for here. But um, I wanted to make that you know, because some people are like, why are you stocking up on stuff? You're never going to eat it. We are eating our things. Everything that I picked up is keto, can either be keto fied or is vegetarian friendly for Jackson. Um, we're going to make a, he wants to make a chowder. So we've got mushrooms. We have some cream corn for him. Uh, we've got some potatoes in there that he can use. Or we've got potato flakes that we can use as a thickener for whatever chowder he wants to make. So we didn't just buy random items. It was things that we know for a fact that we'll be able to use at some point. So when you're stocking up, have a plan in mind. The plan for me is not to run out of food. And I would be just as happy to not have to go outside of my house if I didn't have to. So I'm cool with not going out. Staying in is just fine for me. But if I don't go out, I do want to make sure that I have enough. We did not buy cauliflower this week because they didn't have it. So we'll be leaning a little bit heavier on the canned veggies. We've got green beans. We have tomatoes. I got some carrots. We have some spinach already in the fridge. A friend of ours brought some over for us to share. Um, so those types of things. Jackson has plenty of fruit, so I didn't buy any fruit this week. He's got plums. He's got nectarines. He's got half of a watermelon. Um, I did get them the bananas, but other than that, I didn't buy anything else. So it's just a matter of trying to mix and match what we have. Uh, we are going a little bit heavier carnivore this week as far as trying to eat up some of the meat so we can start recycling some of the meats in our um, freezer because we do have quite a bit of meat out there. Um, I had Alana go out and grab some steaks out so I could do steak. I love steak. I'm going to do just a little garlic, butter, and oil and just saute it up real well until it's medium well, but more well than medium. Then I'll throw a few shrimp in and that'll be my surf and turf and I can move on with my life. Um, I haven't had a meal today and it's almost, well, it's after 11 o'clock. So I'm going to try to get a meal in. Um, my leg is doing much better. I've been to the chiropractor twice now. I go back again. Um, to be adjusted three times a week for six weeks. So three times a week over the next six weeks is how that's going to work for me. And then it'll start to back down a little bit. So she did a great job. Yesterday when I left, I felt like, man, I could just whoo, do the things. So um, that worked out real good, real well for me. It's it's helping me. This is a part of my self-care. I hear a lot of people talk about self-care and they take baths and they get their nails done or they get their toes done. I just want to walk right. So um, for me, this is self-care and I'm okay with spending a little just to make my body healthy. So anywho, there it is. Just wanted to share with you our grocery haul and our stock up plan to see uh, what you guys thought uh, or show you guys what we're doing. And um, there it is. So if you liked the video, don't forget to thumb it up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that. We love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. We love you guys. Um, thanks so much for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.